Now, let me erase all this. Now, now we have done that umbilical vein is having uh, oxygenated blood and the oxygenated blood is going through a small vessel, very small vessel that is DV and the narrowness of DV is very, very important. Narrowness of DV is very, very important. Uh, Dr. Kamila, when you are uh, uh, flowering the pot, honey pot, having a plant, and that is at a distance of say 10 meters from you, and your pipe, whatever you are holding, is not 10 meters, is only 4 meters or a 5 meters. What you are doing so that this water will go to that flower pot. What you are doing? You are pressing. pressing. You are pressing. By pressing, what you are doing? You are decreasing. This is the decrease over here. This is the thing which is acting like that nozzle. It is not actually the nozzle. It is that part which you are pressing and by pressing what you are doing, you are increase. You are decreasing the lumen by decreasing the lumen. What you are doing, you are increasing the velocity of the output from that part. And then the water is going to the pot, which is not in front of you, but at a distance. Same is true for the DB also. Got it now. Now, after crossing this, it is going into the inferior vena cava, which is over here. And this inferior vena cava is now having the oxygenated. Now see, uh, this red will be oxygenation, oxygenated blood. It will be here. Now you know that velocity is very high. It is not 1000. I'm uh, putting it 1000, marking it 1000 so that you will understand. And only maybe a 10 over here. Now see, the difference of this velocity is making this not to mix. Now, where the blood is going now? Dr. Kamila, where the blood from here, from this inferior vena cava will go? Right atrium. Now let us draw the right atrium over here. My drawing is very poor, but the purpose will be solved. You have to bear with the drawing. This is the right atrium over here. It will go into the right atrium. This is a right atrium. Now, both flows, mind my words, both flows, oxygenated as well as deoxygenated is entering where? In a right atrium, a right atrium. In a right atrium. From right atrium, where it will go, Dr. Kamila? Right atrium to left atrium or right or right ventricle. Right ventricle. Okay. You are saying that it will go into the right ventricle. Wait, 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 wait. I'll come to that. Right ventricle. You are telling me that it will go into the right ventricle. Now, if it will go, now see, if it will go into the right atrium, it means that a right-sided heart will get oxygenated blood. Right-sided heart will get oxygenated blood. Where is the oxygenated blood in you and me? In the right or left side? In right or left side? Dr. Kedar, it has to be on the left side only. It means that this flow, this oxygenated blood should not drop in the right ventricle, but it should go to opposite side, opposite side. But this thing, this, this blue over here, this deoxygenated has and has to go in the right ventricle only, then only the circulation will be possible. Am I right? Now, now it means that this flow should not drop over here, but it should cross and go to the other side of the heart. And over here comes the
comes the role of f four m n over here. What is this four m n called? Four m n O L. So there is a gap. Now see, there is a gap for this stream to go in, and that gap is called as four m n of O L. Now see, if this flow would not have a thousand a high velocity, then it is not possible to cross this foramen it will then drop over here and it is not dropping because the velocity is very high and it is straight way hitting onto the wall and there only onto this wall there is a open door i will say open door and that door is the foramen of oval and it is going into the left atrium from left atrium it is going into the left ventricle now everything is coming from what i mean by everything this circulation is possible due to the narrow ductus venosus now imagine if ductus venosus will be not narrow but a wide or if due to any cause the ductus venosus is getting inflamed or anything disease this thing is not possible simply this thing is on and point number second so first point is the ductus venosus now without ductus venosus peter circulation simply is not possible point number second if there would have been no foramen oval irrespective of the high velocity of this flow it would have strike it would have hit what a wall over here a blind wall now you know now that how important this door is what is this door over here foramen of oval so second is the foramen of oval then now 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 i am having oxygenated let me take first of all oxygenated the oxygenated over here now see uh, this way the oxygenated blood is going this way then it is dropping into this and then here comes the aorta it will eject into the aorta this is aorta over here then it supplies to the vital organs then but what has happened to that deoxygenated blood come back to the deoxygenated now this deoxygenated having a low velocity will go will first drop into the right atrium atrium then it will go directly into the right ventricle right from right ventricle where it will go dr kamila you first lungs it means that it has to go into the pulmonary artery right pulmonary artery and from that pulmonary artery now see you are telling me i am writing this pulmonary artery from that pulmonary artery it will go where it will go to if it will eject into the pulmonary artery it will go where it will go into the lungs for for what for oxygenation but is feet is breathing is feet is breathing if no then something is wrong yes doctor ke dar from pulmonary artery okay from pulmonary artery very good what is that connection yes in comment boxes now online candidates comment boxes what is that connection called i will come to the that connection so there has to be a connection now see there has and has to be a connection between the aorta and this pulmonary artery so that so that the blood so that this deoxygenated blood will not go into the lungs and it will not go into the lung 